Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on this plugin called Party Room. Apparently the developer got the inspiration from RuneScape. I haven't played RuneScape in a really long time, but I do know that they did have a party drop system. Well, with this, it can be ran by players. You only have to set up the chest, and inside that chest, your players can drop certain items that they want to include in this party drop. So your players, once they put in an item, they can't take it out, and then your players can pull a lever that is next to the chest, and that'll start the drop party. When the drop party starts, balloons start to fall from the sky, and based on the chance of getting an item, when they pop the balloon, they might receive the item from the chest. So it's a really cool system that they have. It's fun, and it can be ran all by your players. The only thing they have to do is just set up the chest inside of a party room. So just download the plugin, drop in your plugins folder, and then restart your server. And let's go ahead and get started. So you could have a party room on your server, somewhere in your spawn, maybe even a certain world, but just a really nice party room. And then you want to place down a chest. Now we're going to make this a party chest with the command slash prune create. There we go. Make sure you're looking at the chest as well and make sure that this is a single chest because two chests next to each other as a double chest doesn't work. There we go. So now we turn that into a party chest. Now, the really cool thing is we can edit everything in game. So just sneak and right click. That'll bring up the awesome GUI that they have here. You can change the name of it, the name of the party chest, of course. I'm going to type in party one and then just click on that. There we go. So now it's known as party one. And then we can change the balloon. So the balloons, this cake block falls from the sky. There's about 20 of them, which you can also change. But we're going to just leave it as cake block. And then here we go, the balloon count. So how many you want to have. Let's go ahead and change this to something a little bit smaller since we're just doing this for the tutorial. You don't want to make it too big because you don't want your players to have like super infinite amount of chances to pull something good. And like I said, this comes from anything that your players put in the chest. So let's go with 10 and hit that. There we go. So the balloon height, how far up they spawn from the floor. So this spawns eight blocks. I'm just going to leave it as that. And a really cool thing is, you guys can either give this to players you trust, a certain group, or you can just make it cost something to pull the lever. So this will actually start the drop. So I'm gonna change this to $10, something cheap. There we go, 10. And now it costs $10 to pull the lever that will start the party drop for that chest. And then radius type, I'm not gonna change that. Um, pretty much the rest, you can actually have a delay. So after you pull the lever, there can be a delay. I'm gonna make this three seconds. There we go. Awesome. So now the minimum drop capacity. There has to be at least this amount of items to actually start a party. So let's go ahead and make this anything you want. I'm going to go with three. So now there has to be at least three items in that chest to start a drop party. Announcement delay and you can change the messages. And yeah, so that's pretty much all I'm going to go over inside this GUI. Make sure you enable it. It's enabled. And there we go. So while looking at it, also type the command slash prune save when you're done and I'll save the configuration that we just did. Now let's go ahead and get out a lever, place it within one block of the chest and just, you know, place it down. So there we go. Now it's pretty much ready. Next thing we have to do is we have to get some items. So I'm just going to grab something random just for the purpose of this video. And now we have three items because that's the minimum amount. And keep in mind, like I said, guys, anything that you put in the chest cannot be taken out. That's just a note for your players. There we go. Let's put that in there. Bam. All right. So let's go ahead and press the lever. There's going to be about three seconds and it just charges $10. All right. So here we go. As you guys can see, blocks are falling. And eventually we have the chance to pull one of the blocks from the chest. So really awesome. And obviously with a lot of players, we won't be able to break every block like we're doing right now, which is fun. Now, not every time there will be blocks in every single block. So things in that chest won't always spawn out of the blocks but as you guys did see i did get a block so that is really cool and that's pretty much it for this plugin tour you guys can set up as many chests as you want for your players to run the show and pull the lever themselves so hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe for more and i will see you guys in my next video peace out